Matchroom CEO and promoter Eddie Hearn does not foresee Deontay Wilder taking on Anthony Joshua until 2020. Citing the reason, Deontay Wilder, he believes, has an agreement in place to face Luis King Kong Ortiz in the rematch. Stay tuned, coming up next. Hey, this is Cassie, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, habla Cindy, está viendo Deporte TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So Matchroom CEO and promoter Eddie Hearn stated that he doesn't think or foresee Deontay Wilder taking on Anthony Joshua into the year 2020. Uh, he cited the reason being he feels like Deontay Wilder already has a rematch plan, uh, um, a rematch contract already in place to face Luis King Kong Ortiz in a rematch at the end of the year. Uh, the funny thing about this is Luis King Kong Ortiz has revealed that Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua have offered him a fight uh, in December should they not get a fight with Deontay Wilder uh, next. So uh, everybody, it seems like, is vying for Luis King Kong Ortiz services, um, you know, to bolster their legacy. Uh, this is maybe a strong possibility as I saw Luis King Kong Ortiz jump in the ring with Deontay Wilder uh, after Deontay Wilder's fight last night against Dominic Brazil, which was ended in the first round destruction of Dominic Brazil. Uh, um, but with that said, Luis King Kong Ortiz uh, said that he wanted to face Deontay Wilder next. Uh, he said, but Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua did offer him another contract um, to have him face uh, Anthony Joshua in December. Um, but if Deontay Wilder already has uh, a rematch plan in place to face Luis King Kong Ortiz at the end of the year, then that would force Anthony Joshua to go elsewhere, obviously. Um, Anthony Joshua could possibly face Alexander Usyk, but Alexander Usyk suffered a major setback uh, with a torn bicep. So he won't be back until 2020, in my opinion. I don't think he'll be healed and ready and willing and able to go, especially in this, against Anthony Joshua. Even if he does come back, Usyk, Alexander Usyk, it won't be against Anthony Joshua. Uh, it will be against a tuna. Right, because he don't know how his body is gonna respond, especially being your your bicep, you know, in the sport of boxing. You just don't know how your body's gonna respond. Are you willing to take on the biggest fight in your life with a uh, coming off a torn bicep injury? Absolutely not. So where does this leave Anthony Joshua? More than likely, we'll see Anthony Joshua face Dillian White. Uh, I could see that fight taking place, but Dillian White is hell bent on um, keeping his um, rankings and being the mandatory for the WBC in order to get a fight with De with Deontay Wilder. Uh, we know the WBC had offered um, a, fi a fight between Tyson Fury and Dillian White in a, a WBC title eliminator for the winner becoming a mandatory for Deontay Wilder. Tyson Fury obviously was going to turn that down as if I, as, as I already told you guys, Tyson Fury would feel like, you know, um, he, he's in a situation where he have to prove his point, prove his worth to face Deontay Wilder. And he already faced Deontay Wilder and he already feel like he won. So Tyson Fury was not going to accept that. I already told you guys that. Uh, with that being said, I could definitely see uh, Anthony Joshua taking on Dillian White. But is Dillian White going to be um, uh, um, wanting to accept the challenge? Is he willing to accept the challenge of facing Anthony Joshua? Um, I don't know. Just doesn't seem like it, it doesn't seem like D Dillian White is too um, excited about, you know, losing his spot in the WBC rankings. Um, with that said, um, uh, if De Deontay Wilder is to face Luis King Kong Ortiz at the end of the year, I'm highly expecting to see Deontay Wilder face Tyson Fury in early 2020, not Anthony Joshua. With that said, we could possibly see Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder at the end of 2020, right? Um, and Dillian White being Joshua's opponent, that would give uh, Alexander Usyk time to heal and recover and get a tune-up, uh, a fight. He was supposed to make his heavyweight debut next weekend, uh, the 25th, um, versus Carlos Tackham, and obviously that got pushed back due to the injury he suffered. Uh, we could see Alexander Usyk, you know, possibly still face Carlos Tackham. Anthony Joshua face Dillian White. And should Anthony Joshua be successful, against Dillian White, then we could see him possibly face Alexander Usyk uh, and then go ahead and face um, 
uh, uh, Deontay Wilder at the end of the year. But this is all very interesting to see how this plays out. Uh, the wild card in all this situation is Tyson Fury. As Tyson Fury doesn't have, he had, he said he's going to um, face, obviously he's going to be facing um, a guy by the name of Tom Swartz. Then he says he's coming back. <clears throat> He'll be fighting in September, September 28th to be exact is the date he um, uh, uh, cited that he'll be back. And that's obviously not going to be against Deontay Wilder or Tyson Fury. I mean, or Anthony Joshua. So that's most likely going to be another um, tune-up type of interim type of fighter. And then um, we see where this goes with Tyson Fury. All interesting to say the least. But Luis Ortiz did uh, uh, um, reveal that Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn offer him to face, to face Anthony Joshua in December. So let's see how this all plays out. As Eddie Hearn is saying that he feels like Luis Ortiz already has a plan in place to rematch Deontay Wilder as well. So let's see how this all plays out, man. But 2020, uh, I definitely expect to see all of these fights take place. But that's all I got, man. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Is Deontay Wilder going to face Luis King Kong Ortiz next? Is he going to face um, Anthony Joshua next? Is Ortiz going to face Anthony Joshua next? Or is Ortiz going to face Dillian White next? Let's see how this plays out. It's all interesting to say the very least because these are all still very, very good fights. Is it the fight that the, the world wants? World wants to see Tyson Fury Wilder 2. World wants to see uh, Joshua Wilder 1. The world wants to see Joshua Fury 1. But hey, Joshua versus Dillian White is nothing to sneeze at. And Ortiz versus Wilder uh, rematch is nothing to sneeze at as well. One person that's uh, left out seems to be Tyson Fury. And Tyson Fury doesn't seem to care very much. But that's all I got for y'all. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all in one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shouts out to the entire LDBC. Shouts out to New Media. Shouts out to Black Media Road. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. The Blue Blood Sports TV, baby, from the Empress. Much love. Mwah.